Now there is a compiler option which you may have never heard of, but which you may, unbeknownst to you, be using right now in order to be getting more secure code. So it's called Fortify Source, and it was a project started by Red Hat back in the early 2000s. And the goal was to basically say, well, if the compiler can tell that you're gonna buffer overflow, it should probably warn you and or stop you either at you know, compile time or at runtime. And so the idea was to take things like memcopy, string copy, and all those sort of APIs that are dangerous and prone to buffer overflows, and have the compiler insert, you know, first of all, do just checks to find out whether or not you're definitely guaranteed gonna be overflowing because it can see, you know, using just compile time information that, you know, buffer one is bigger than buffer two and it's gonna overflow if passed into these functions, but also to provide runtime options where these things like memcopy, string copy, et cetera, will be replaced with runtime checking things that will try to see whether or not there's going to be an overflow. So there's two main levels of security that it provides. Fortify source equals one, and with this compiler option where available, it will do primarily compile time checks. And so that's gonna be a little bit less stringent, and of course, you know, a lot of times it's attacker controlled inputs uh, which are not available at compile time. But if you use uh, fortify source equals two, then the runtime checks will be more stringent, and then it will try to find out if there's going to be an overflow. So you opt in through those things like the dash D fortify source equals one. And I give on the website a whole bunch of information about you know, the various, uh, about the compilers that support it and from which version and so forth. But it's also the case that if you are compiling your code on some Unix derivative, Mac OS's, Linux's, and BSD's, uh, it may be the case that first of all, the entire operating system may have already had Fortify Source turned on at the time that all of its code was compiled. And furthermore, the compiler environment package may be forcing this on. It may have been already setting Fortify Source equal to one or two automatically within your compilation just behind the scenes. So check out the website in order to see more about the specifics of different compilers and execution environments.